Today I wanted to do a little introduction to our challenge that I'm doing of reading the lowest, lowest rated books on my TBR. Uh, this isn't an original idea at all. Uh, the first person who did this is Gayla by Lucy Miles. I will link to her video down below, but a lot of people have been doing it and I love this idea because I want to see if I agree with other people's readings uh, on these books. Uh, so let me tell you what books are the lowest rated on my TBR. Um, so the lowest rated book on my TBR is The Universal Donor by Craig Nova. Uh, this is just a book that I picked up uh, used at some like, charity shop. I know nothing about it, but uh, I was kind of curious because it was a hardback that was extremely cheap. Uh, so that's why I picked it up, but it has a 2.89 uh, average rating, which is really, really low. Like, I've never seen such a low rating ever uh, on any book, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, the second lowest rated book I have on my TBR is Entre les Murs by François de Godot. Um, this is a book uh, written in French by a French author uh, that I also picked up because it was used and really cheap. I know absolutely nothing about it. Um, so that's just one. Then I have Ghost and Watchmen by Harper Lee. Uh, also, the the book before had an average rating of, of 3.06. Uh, this book has an average rating of 3.31. Um, and so is Ghost and Watchmen by Harper Lee. This is the prequel slash sequel of uh, How to Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. She didn't actually want to publish uh, this book. It uh, basically, at the end of her life, she was really sick and uh, she didn't have really all her head. And so people made her sign to make the, this book published. Um, she actually she wrote it before How to Kill a Mockingbird, but it wasn't really good and it was about uh, the main character when she's older. And she never meant to publish it, but now it is published. And I didn't know about this whole controversy before I bought this book, so I was always crazy about reading it. Um, but I, I still kind of want to read it, but even if I do end up enjoying it or anything, though I have heard pretty mixed things about it, even if I enjoy it, I'm definitely going to get rid of it after because of this. The third lowest rated book I own is In Custody by Anita Desai. Um, again, I know nothing about this book, I just bought it because it was blurred by Salman Rushdie, which is one of my favorite authors, and it's really short and low rate fiction, so why not? Um, its average rating is 3.33, and uh, the last book I want to read has an average rating of 3.34, um, but it was still below in custody because it has more uh, readings. That's how it works on Goodreads. And uh, no, so actually I'm pretty stupid. No, actually this one was was the last one and this was before. But anyway, uh, it is The Accidental by Ali Smith. I've heard good things about Ali Smith, but mixed things about this book in particular. I'm more interested in her seasonal quartet that she's been doing uh, lately. And but I'm still going to read this one and hopefully it will be good. Um, so I will update you once I start one of these books and tell you if I enjoy them. So I just started um, The Universal Donor, which is the lowest rated book on my TBR, and it is so bad. Um, so I'm like uh, a bit more than 50 pages in. It's about uh, these two characters, Terry and, uh, what's her name again, and Virginia. Uh, Terry is a doctor at uh, this hospital and uh, Virginia works with venomous serpents. Uh, so, like... Their life is so uninteresting, uh, there's a lot of uh, medical or jargon uh, in Terry's, Terry's life uh, and just nothing about this is good honestly. I really 
don't like the characters, they're not interesting, uh, the writing is not good either, it, it's just a lot of, um, it's, it's all jumbled and it just, it doesn't flow at all. And the only reason I'm not DNFing this is that I need it uh, for for the new 3 uh, But otherwise, I really would not waste my time with this. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one star. Um, but I will update you later and tell you how it's going on. But yeah, it's, it's really bad. I just finished reading The Universal Donor and as I said, it was bad. Um, the writing, I, I really did not like. It was just, I don't know. Like, I can't even really explain it. It's just, there's nothing good about this book, honestly. And yeah, it's about, as I said, uh, Terry and Virginia, and basically they're a couple. But like, Virginia actually has a husband, so like, she's cheating with Terry. And at the beginning of the book, she gets bitten by a snake because she works with them. And Terry is a doctor, so he tries to help her. Um, yeah, it was just, it was very stupid. And I'm just glad I'm done with it. And uh, I can get something out of it for the newts. But besides that, it was a one star book, honestly. I totally wasted my time reading this, and I will never get it back, but here it is. So yeah, that was the first book for the challenge, and so far I understand the little reading, clearly. Hi guys, just a quick update to tell you I started to read Ghost Out of Watchmen, and so far it's okay, like it's not bad, but it's not really good either. Um, it's basically like uh, Harper Lee said it was. She didn't want to publish this because she didn't think it was interesting. Um, yeah, it's not bad, but um, I'm waiting to see if there's anything good about it or bad. Um, so I will update you later. Hey, uh, so it's the next day and I've read more than 100 pages of Ghost Out of Watchmen. And again, it's not like uh, really bad, but it's not great either. And the writing feels like it hasn't been edited. Um, so like, that's kind of what Harper Lee was saying about this book is that again, she never intended to publish it. So it feels like that, you know, like it shouldn't have been published. Um, there's not like the, there's a bit of things that. Are starting to happen but um, yeah I don't know I, I kind of like the story still because I did always like the main character Jean Louise but besides that I I'm feeling like I'm wasting my time mostly but that's okay like it's not like a huge book and I still like read quite a, a chunk of it so it should be easy to finish it hi so I finished uh, Ghost Out of Watchmen last night, and <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, like at least the the first half I thought was okay, uh, but after that you could really see that uh, the the story was all jumbled and uh, just as I said again that it should not have been published. It just it feels totally like um, like a first draft, and it's just. It didn't really go anywhere, and like, sure, it dealed with racism, just like um, how to kill a mockingbird, and I did like the small town feel, but besides that, like, <laughs> the the writing was all over the place, and just, uh, yeah, there was like um, a discussion at the end that also was all over the place, and just, yeah. Uh, I I do not recommend this book and it should not have been published. Um, so yeah, that's the second book for this challenge and I give it one star as well. Um, so for now I would say that the rating that they have been given on Goodreads is honestly generous. <laughs> so, but then again I think that um, the two I started with were really uh, the lowest rated books on my TBR so hopefully the next ones 
uh, could actually be better, they couldn't really be worse anyway, uh, so yeah. It's been a while since I read a book for this challenge, as I haven't really been lucky so far, but I have just started uh, The Accidental by Ali Smith, and this book, I think I understand why people read it this slow, though I'm still enjoying it. Um, the thing is, this book has a very particular writing style. Uh, we follow this girl who's about 12, I think, and uh, she is going on vacation with her parents, or at least I think she's going with her mother and maybe his, her boyfriend, and she just keeps thinking of hypotheticals and going all in with her thoughts like I don't know she she thinks what if I did this and so she she imagines that thing and after that she's like and what if I did that also and she keeps going and she just imagines all kinds of scenarios in her head and she's also going through life she's taking pictures and it's it's very weird and hard to follow but I think it's very clever uh, because it is said in the book that everyone thinks she is weird and what I think you can tell from the way she sees things is that she has a lot of mental health issues and that's not really said openly but you can feel it very well from the writing and that's masterful in a way but also <laughs> it makes the reading experience very hard she, had, she seems to have to me some kind of OCD as well as anxiety and maybe be a bit of a, a psychopath, kind of. I don't know, I'm not a, a psychologist or anything, but um, she seems to have quite a few issues. But yeah, I'm still enjoying this book so far. I'm also going to start Entre les Murs soon, today, so I'm going to tell you about this one. It's much later and I'm about halfway into this book. It's trash, basically. Um, this story is about a man who is a French teacher in France and he talks about all his students, the way they talk to him and often they don't really respect him and he responds in kind, you know. He sometimes gets annoyed with them and insults them. It's just utter trash. I, I don't know why this book exists, honestly. Who cares about reading this? It's just, yeah, a guy trying to teach kids and them not really wanting them him to. So they have quite an attitude, and so does he. And all the, the teachers that he works with have the same attitude as well. They are very antagonistic, and they're all saying how all the students are terrible, and they should be sent home, and just nothing in this book is that good. But I'm kind of thinking of finishing it still, because... Uh, I don't hate some of the kids in it, uh, they sometimes have some quite funny lines, so that's the only thing that I would say isn't the worst about this book, uh, but still, overall, just very bad book. I finished it, and it got somehow even worse towards the last third, so... I don't know what to say, I guess this was an experience, not necessarily a good one, but an experience. Um, I Basically what happens towards the end is that the, the teacher, the main character, became even more condescending towards the kids than he was in the beginning, and it just got worse and worse, and there was kind of no point. I mean, I guess I understand what the writer was trying to do here. It's just to show that um, teachers in France in some poor areas are becoming more and more fed up with everything that's going on, with the conditions that they have to go through, and so they they get fed up, you know, and they, they completely crack. 
and it's just that it's done in such a bad and obvious way that it doesn't make it worth reading just because he's trying to say something good or um, help some change, I don't know. It's just, it's really bad and um, I'm just glad I'm, I'm done with it. I kind of wanted to finish it because I was curious to see where it would go a little bit but also because I've just been giving a lot of good ratings to books like me and I like to have some lower ratings just to even things up for some reason. I know a lot of people like to only read books that they like but I I like experimenting though lately I guess I've been DNFing more and more so I don't tend to give low ratings as much. Uh, but as far as the accidental is going, I'm more than 50 pages in and it's still really good. I definitely think that the writing is an acquired taste, it takes some getting used to. But I watched a video um, by Pauline at Dancing Alone a few weeks ago and she was talking about another one of Ellie Smith's books and she was saying that um, once she gets into the flow of her writing she really likes it and I totally understand what she's saying like you really need to get into the flow of the words but once you do if you can it's it's really good actually and I like the way she I don't know talks about characters it's I'm not sure how to explain it you really have to experience it I guess but um, if you can get into it, it's it's really good. So, um, actually, we also follow different characters. So that was also something that I needed to get used to because I thought we were we would always be following the same character, but we are not. And so we are changing perspectives, but it's not really confusing. I just was expecting just one perspective <laughs> for some reason, uh, but that's okay. So yeah, at least one of the books for this challenge is going okay. Um, so that's that's nice, I guess. Finished the accidental, and overall, I did enjoy it. I think Alice Smith's writing is really good, but it completely lost me in like the last third of this book. It's you know this kind of very literary novel where. You sometimes feel like there's a bit of magical realism also, but you're not sure how much of it is in the book. So I was just left really confused. But overall, I still enjoy this. As I said, I would like to read more by Ellie Smith, so that's still a win. But if anyone can tell me what happened at the end of this book, I would really like to know. <laughs> it's it's kind of something. And uh, But yeah, I enjoyed that we had a lot of characters and the way the writing changed for each of them so that's a good thing uh, but also like i'd say this is not the kind of very enjoyable novel it's it's very literary and sometimes even a little experimental so it's the kind of novel that only people who really like literary fiction like me would like i think and so I'm not really surprised that it doesn't have the best rating. Though, to be fair, I looked at the rating and it's like 332 right now. So that's not really bad because I'm giving it three stars. So, like, it's, it's pretty fair. I started in custody and so far I think it's not so bad. It's about a guy who's called Devan and... He lives in some village near Delhi in India. I'm not sure how to say his first name as it is Indian, but uh, he is a professor at a university and he teaches Hindi. Uh, but one day, one of his friends, Murad, his old friends, comes uh, to give him some opportunity, or at least that's how he makes it sound, to interview a very well-known poet that he is a fan of so he takes the opportunity and goes to Delhi to interview him but things don't happen as well as he wishes um, so we follow him just going through that and I'm waiting to know what's going to happen after I am enjoying this so far Murad his friend is like such 
a terrible person he's extremely condescending he has like a lot of money while the van doesn't have much but he never tries to help him on the contrary like he's always bullied bullied him <laughs> so it's not really cool uh, but i do like the descriptions in this it's very vivid you get a, a description of india the food that they're eating and the cities that he's going through so that's really nice to see and different from what i typically read i have seen like i have read some other books set in india mostly by salman rushdie who is also indian so i have discovered that a little before but i still really enjoy it and actually the writing style in this is pretty similar to salman rushdie with very long within sentences but i do enjoy that so yeah just so far a good enough reading experience i am exactly 63 percent into this book as goodreads has told me and i'm not really enjoying it i have to say this novel is mostly focused on the setting, I guess, more than characters or plot. But like, there is some bit of plot, it's not that interesting. Basically, as so I said, it's about a guy who's a professor and trying to interview this poet. And uh, the one thing that is actually interesting is the discussion between the languages in India. So from what I gathered, you have two languages you have hindi which they still speak today and you have urdu which was a language that they used to speak in courts but they don't anymore uh, ever since the muslims left the country and so some people still write and talk in urdu but it's not known very much anymore and so our main character he ditches Hindi but he also loves Urdu and the poet that he wants to interview writes in Urdu so there's a lot of discussion about these languages which I think is interesting and I've heard some stuff about uh, over the years so it's nice to get that insight uh, but despite that like as I said, so like this novel is kind of interesting if you want to know a little bit about India and how it is living there. But besides that, like the plot isn't really intriguing me that much. Um, it's about the, this boy that he has actually met and uh, some stuff about him and his family. And it's just <laughs> not that interesting, so... I don't know, I'm still going to finish it and see, because I'm kind of curious, but also not, so yeah, um, I will tell you how it ends. Well, not spoilers, but I don't know, do you want spoilers? It's like, sometimes I really want to spoil books that I, I don't really like, because I'm like, I don't, I'm not even recommending it to you, so I don't think you're going to read it, so it doesn't matter if I tell you the end. I don't know. I finished it and you know it's just not good I don't really know what to say I I wish I would have DNF this pretty early on because it just got worse and worse it's like there's almost no plot and I did like the setting at first, but then the focus was more on the characters and the plot, but they're not interesting at all. So, yeah, just, I I would give this one star, as well as many of the other books in this video. So, I guess what I can say is that uh, Goodreads ratings are pretty, pretty generous compared to my ratings. So overall, I should take them into account somehow when I pick up books, maybe. Uh, but yeah, just uh, so most of these books uh, were not to my taste at all, except uh, the accidental. Though, like, even that book was not very, very good. I liked it, but it could have been better. So in the end, yeah, I, I guess... Um, I've seen many videos like this uh, from other people and they typically have quite a few books that they end up really enjoying <laughs> but I didn't I mean I said the accidental wasn't bad I think but not 
like uh, amazing so at least there's that uh, but overall just uh, not great all <laughs> of these books I I never thought I would give so many one stars but uh, here we are so yeah uh, so I have to say so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another video goodbye Dream I know, deep up my feelings feel